when a person has uh, diabetes and the diabetes is beginning to affect their eyes, there may be many things that they can experience. And some of these experiences or symptoms may not necessarily correlate directly to how bad the eye disease may be occurring. For example, there can be patients who are on the verge of losing all of their eyesight due to diabetic retinopathy and their vision is perfect. It's 2020. They can go get a driver's uh, license and pass the test without a problem. However, there can be patients who have very minimal eye disease, yet their vision can be affected. It may be very blurry. They can't watch TV or read the signs on the road. And the reason for this is that the level of vision doesn't correlate with the level of damage because there, the damage doesn't occur throughout the retina, but it occurs, especially early on, in different parts of the retina. And if that part of the retina is not in the center where your vision is sharpest and most noticeable to you, you won't experience any changes with your vision. Uh, the, the, the changes can be as wide as just blurry vision to missing spots in your visual field. So when you look around you, there will be areas that you can't see. It would be like blind spots to total loss of vision. So it's a wide spectrum of symptoms that you might have, and it all depends on the type of damage that's occurring to the retina and the location and the severity. There are other conditions, as I mentioned earlier, that can be associated with decreased vision. Cataracts is one of them. The cataract is the clouding of the natural lens in your eye, and that acts like a smudged lens or a dirty windshield. Things just are kind of blurry. And if you drive into the sunset or the sunrise, the glare may make uh, what you see worse. Glaucoma is very tricky because glaucoma gives very, 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 very little symptoms until late in the disease when very little can be done for it. And at that point, there are just areas of vision that disappear. You have small blind spots that grow together or enlarge, and eventually vision can be lost. For these three conditions that are typically associated with diabetes, glaucoma can be managed with eye drops. There are no other risk factors for it except heredity. If your uh, mom and dad or your grandparents or other relatives had glaucoma, then you're more likely to develop this condition where the pressure over time can cause vision loss. The treatment, as I mentioned, is eye drops. They lower the pressure in the eye and hopefully stop the progression of the disease. Sadly, for most eye diseases, once the damage occurs, we can't reverse it. But in many cases, we can prevent further loss. Cataracts, the clouding of the natural lens in your eye, when the vision is so blurry that it keeps you from doing the things you want to do and enjoy doing, we can perform surgery to remove that cloudy lens, and then we replace it with a clear artificial lens, and vision can be restored. For diabetes, it's far more challenging, again, because the, the, the damage is permanent, and we have no treatment for it that prevents or stops or reverses the damage of uh, diabetes in the eye. What we do have are laser treatments, and there are a couple of laser treatments that can be employed to try to stop or slow the progression of damage. The sad thing is that they're only effective when the disease is fairly advanced. So it doesn't make your vision better when we treat with lasers. And in many cases, the vision even worsens a little bit after laser treatment is done. But what lasers do is they decrease the loss of vision, the chance of losing all of your sight by about 50%. Many patients uh, will tell me that, gee, I had a, a neighbor who had diabetes and they had laser treatment done and after the laser treatment was done, their vision was lost. So I don't want to consider having laser done on my eyes. Well, in reality, it wasn't the laser that caused the vision loss. It was the diabetes that caused it, and the laser was not sufficient to stop the progression of the disease.